respectfully acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land in which we are gathered for this meeting and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Please join in for our acknowledgement of country. Here is the land, here is the sky, here are my friends and here am I. We thank the traditional owners for the land in which we learn and play and we promise to take care of it every day. Please stand for the national anthem. school. Remote learning has had plenty of challenge for students, staff and families. Taya and I would like to share our experiences. We spent eight weeks at home doing remote learning. I had ups and downs but there were lots of positives to take away from this experience. During this time I became more independent, I had more time to do my work and you got to stay in your PJs all day. However there were some negatives too. I missed everyone and sometimes my Wi-Fi was bad because my mum, dad and sister were working from home. Overall, I think we can learn from this experience and it has been a change for the whole school, not just me. But I did it and I'm so confident I can handle anything. My experience learning from home can be described as fun, annoying, hard and quick. A reason it has been quick is sometimes I would get an activity done very quickly with no distractions. A reason it was fun because I enjoyed doing some of the activities. A reason it was annoying is because my little sister was also doing remote learning and my dad would often have to help her and she would ask a lot of questions. A reason it was hard was that sometimes it was difficult to understand the activity and I would need to ask a question. Overall, I have also learned from this experience and will, and will look back at this as a time to remember. A time that was a little hard for everyone, but I can do anything if I put my mind to it. There's a lot to learn from this experience and I guess you never know what life can throw at you. This really tested our resilience, but has been a great opportunity, opportunity for growth this week, Alicia also interviewed some students and teachers on how they felt about being back at school. Today, I will be interviewing children and teachers on their experience during in remote learning. Ms. Tanner, was it difficult to prepare online teaching? Yes, it was because I wasn't familiar with a lot of the platforms. I hadn't used Google Classroom really before. Um, I had to quickly learn how to edit and make videos 
uh, like for phonics and things like that in our intro videos. So it, I would say it was difficult. Parts of it were fun, but it was hard. What did you like about online teaching? I definitely liked that I could have coffee any time of the day <laughs> when I was teaching from home. I also liked that um, when we called and did the reading with you guys, I really liked that one-on-one -on -one time reading with the students, um, with the kids. Um, and I really liked how positive all of the three fours were. Um, like when we were in our class meetings, they were all really encouraging of each other. And I thought that was really cool that even though it was remote learning and they couldn't see each other, they still were working as a team. So that was really cool. Did you miss the students? I did. I missed them a lot. And I definitely cried a little on our first day back because I was just so excited to see everybody. That's great. Did you enjoy home learning? Yes. Yes. Did you like spending time with your family? Yes. yes. Are you happy to be back at school? Yes. yes. <laughs> what, what was the best part of, of home learning? Playing games. Playing games. Yep. It is great to hear that everyone is so happy to be back at school. Up next, we have Dylan with Children Making Change. Children Making Change is a segment brought to you by the five, six children as we identify the research young people making positive difference in the world. Born Slat is a 16 year old teenager from the Netherlands. He was shocked to find lots of plastic while diving in Greece. He chose to explore the ocean pollution pollution as his high school project science. At the age of 18, he presented a system that uses ocean currents to make plastic concentrate itself, reducing the process of cleaning the ocean from millennia to years. A number of organizations and companies praised his invention. Boyne is the youngest person ever to receive a UN's highest environmental award. Thank you for tuning into our weekly segment, Children Making Change, and don't forget to enjoy your day. Thank you, Dylan. As we investigate Children Making Change, I'm inspired to create change myself and hope that in the future, Botanic Ridge Primary School can make change that positively impacts the lives of others. Now we have a wonderful musical performance by the Year One Two's students singing Tabanaba.
great. As we can't hear your applause virtually, it would be great to see encouragement out in the yard. If you have seen someone that has performed or participated in assembly today, make sure you tell them how great they did by saying well done or you did great. We would now like to invite the principal, Miss Vanden Bosch, and our assistant principal, Mr. Cuss, to present the Botanic Bridge Billions Awards. Hi everyone, great to be with you today, Mrs. Vandenbosch, and of course I've got Mr. Cuss here with us today as well. We're here to present our Botanic Brilliance Awards. We're very proud of the children for showing growth, respect, responsibility and safety. Listen out for your name. Mr. Bloomfield would like to acknowledge Shania. You have shown respect towards your fellow classmates, always offering to help them out and caring for their well-being. I'm also very proud of the growth you have shown in reading and writing. Great work. Miss Benucci would like to acknowledge Eliz. You've demonstrated respect and responsibility with our learning community by being an active participant and working collaboratively with others during our literacy learning this week. Keep up the great work. Miss Simons would like to acknowledge Harrison. You have made significant growth when recognising segmenting and blending sounds to read and write decodable sentences. It has also been great to see you show responsibility towards your learning, consistently making good choices and trying your best. You should be very proud. Keep up the great work. Mr Ho would like to acknowledge Olivia. You have displayed respectful relationships during STEM by raising your hand to ask questions in class, as well as working well in a team. Well done on being a great learner in class. Mr Ho would also like to acknowledge Alaylee. You were very responsible at the end of art by helping clean up. You were a role model to the other children. Thank you, Alayli, for keeping the art room tidy for the next class. Miss Turner would like to acknowledge Gania. You have consistently displayed a responsible and respectful attitude in your learning. This was evident through remote learning and in your choices and behaviour upon returning to school. Keep up the great work, Gania. Miss Cleary would like to acknowledge Liana. You have demonstrated enormous growth in your competence towards PE and your willingness to give new things a go. Amazing work. Miss Blaine would like to acknowledge Jackson W. You have consistently displayed responsible behaviour in the classroom by always working hard and trying your best. What a star. This next award is from a fabulous teacher. His name is Mr Cuss. Mr Cuss would like to acknowledge Ashton. You have participated enthusiastically in our first week of Basketball Academy. It was great to see the growth you made doing something a little out of your comfort zone. Congratulations to all of the children who received an award today. We're extremely proud of you. Well done, guys. Academy. We've been working this week and last week. It's really fun. We work in big groups and small groups. Yay! Well done to all our award winners. Please give them a round of applause. Now, we have Belle and Sarah to remind everyone of our positive school expectations. Here at Botanic Ridge Primary School, we are respectful, safe and responsible and we follow our positive behaviour expectations. We would like to highlight a few this week. When being safe, we can tell an adult if something is wrong or even keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. We show respect by using our manners, saying please and thank you. Another great way to show respect is by listening to others. We're only at Botanic Ridge Primary School, we are responsible. We show this by admitting to our mistakes and following instructions. Thank you. Thanks girls. It's really important to demonstrate positive behaviour. And just remember that you could earn a power-ups for demonstrating great behaviour. 
Now we have Rosalie and Max to share our school. During remote learning, the rest of our school was completed. Here is a small tour to show you some of our favorite spaces. First, we have the learning walk. Here, classes can come outside and sit in the seating space to learn. Next, we have the, the junior playground and the sandpit. These spaces are open just before were open just before the holidays and have been a lot of fun so far. Here we have the climbing pyramid. This is fun to climb and bounce. In the distance is the new oval, which we will use during PE lessons. Finally, the basketball courts and senior playground. The courts have been used to practice our skills. The playground also has a flying fox and monkey bars. We hope you have enjoyed this tour. We are very proud of our school. Now we would like to remind our community of the upcoming event. On Friday, June 26th, we will have Games Day. On this day, students will practice in some fun and exciting activities. Staff and students will dress in their house clothes and practice in their house groups. They, the day also includes a free barbecue. We will be sure to take lots of photos so our families can see all the fun we will be having. Finally, the much anticipated announcement staff have been waiting for. In this envelope, teachers have been assigned their house groups. Before I begin, I will remind you of our houses. We have Rust House named Terek, representing the earth. We have Blue House named Charles, representing water. We have Green House named Harrison, representing flora. And we have Yellow House named Walker, representing the sun. Our school houses represent four influential families from the local Aboriginal community and symbolise our continued commitment to uphold the Aboriginal perspective in education. Now for the house allocation. In Tarek we have Miss Blaine, Miss Campbell, Miss Hanks. In Charles we have Miss Simons, Miss Turner, Miss Milsom. And in Harrison we have Miss Spinucci, Mr. Ho and Miss Convent. In Walker we have Mr. Bloomfield, Miss Thompson and Miss Cleary. Good luck for games day. May the best house win. Thank you, Ashley. We remember to wear your house colours on Friday, June 26th. And don't forget our early finish at 2.30pm as it will be our last day of term two. Now to, on to next term, we will begin school again on 13th of July, on the 13th of July, and this is our third time lucky as we hope for a smooth down ahead. There, there will be lots of exciting events of for BRPS students keep Please keep connected with our, with our school via Compass, Instagram and Facebook pages to stay updated. We thank you for joining us and hope you will, will be at the next assembly in term three. Have a great week ahead. We have a great week ahead of us. Have a great week ahead and a and a and a well deserved holiday break. Mm -hmm. There will be lots of exciting events at BRPS for BRPS students. Keep, keep please keep connected with with your with our school via Compass Instagram and Facebook pages to stay updated. We thank you all for joining us and hope you to see a to see you at our next assembly in term three. Have a great week and a one and a well-deserved holiday break.